Everybody's been out of the audience during the period when questions are being asked and answered. Everybody needs to remain quiet. Um, don't be holding any signs or anything. After the question and answer has appeared, then you can share, yell, scream, hold up signs, do whatever you want. Yes, loud voices over here. Perfect. Um, but do try to keep it quiet during the question and answer period. After the answer's been shown, again, then you can scream and holler and yell. Also, when your scores, your team scores are shown, it's scream, holler and yell. But during the actual question being asked, please remain quiet. At this time, I'd like to introduce our Ventura County Superintendent, Mr. Stanley Manatee. Thank you. And uh, I didn't even win anything. Um, I also want to welcome you to the 2012 Super Quiz. It's the culmination of this competition, and it's my favorite event. Why? Because it has an audience, and it's the only one that has an audience. And speaking of which, I'd like to ask for a round of applause for the parents and our guests here today who had quite a bit to do with every Separated by their varsity, 
scholastic, and honors members, and there are three members of each one of those teams. Round one will consist of all varsity, round two, scholastic, and round three will culminate with the honors team's members. In each round, the decathletes will be asked ten questions that pertain to the theme, the age of empire. The questions will be read aloud, projected on the screen beside me, and in front of each decathlete. Decathletes will have seven seconds to select their answer. At the end of this time, I will announce pencils up, and the decathletes will immediately stop on pain of death what they're doing and raise their pencils up. The team proctors will then circle the decathletes' answers on their scan from the cards. After the decathlete answers have been circled, the answer will be read aloud and projected on the screen beside me. That's your cue to cheer. The team proctors will then record and tally the scores, and after the proctors have recorded and tallied the scores, they will display the number of correct answers. Even more reason to cheer. For that question, either a 0, 1, 2, or 3. We'll then move to the next question, and so on and so forth. At the end of the round, I will ask the teams to return to the audience while the round scores are tallied, and when that has been completed, I will ask the students for the next round to come to the floor and take their seats. We'll do it all over again. Okay, are we ready? Okay. 
preparing food in traditional fashion, or E, finding Algerian brides for her sons. You have seven seconds. Now you have four. <laughs> Pencils up. Proctors.
correct answer is D. I am playing Chips, Telegraph, and Dynamite. Did imperialism begin to falter and reverse? 
C, who was most hurt by European colonialism? D, what were the motives of European imperialists? Or E, why did Europe dominate the new imperialism? Doctors ready? All scored? The correct answer is A. How did technological forces shape the
The term Middle Passage refers to the A sea route through North Africa that would lead to Asia. B decks on the ships where indentured servants would be housed. C voyage through the Straits of Magellan at the tip of South America. D voyage across the Atlantic made by African slaves. Or E low-lying route through the Allegheny Mountains in Virginia. <laughs> Pencils up.
Did you wish you knew what they were saying? Doctors, if you haven't already done so, please distribute the scantron answer sheets. And also distribute the round two questions. But to Kathleen's, again, I will ask you not to look at the first question until I say so. Okay. The Catholics, you will begin with the number one on your Scantron answer sheet. And please, in answering the question, bubble in completely the lettered space, either A, B, C, D, or E, which corresponds to the best to the answer that best completes or answers the question. Are we ready? Okay. Question number one for Scholastic. In 1947, the United Nations voted to partition this region into Arab and Jewish settlements. A. Syria. B. Lebanon. C. Palestine. D. Saudi Arabia. Or E. Jordan. And the correct answer is C, Palestine. Oh, 
Okay, number three. The liberal idea based on enlightenment principles that non-Western peoples could be civilized through colonial policies was undermined by all of the following social applications of Darwinian theory except A. City Corps, you stand ready to expel people, okay? A. Racial differences, not similarities, were emphasized. B. The notion of a single human trajectory was false. C. Culture was shaped through biology, not environment. D. Racial traits were considered permanent and immutable. Or E. Civilization could only come through mastery of nature. Pencils up. And the correct answer is A. British victory by an answer.
Okay, John? And the correct answer is E, where water transport was easy.
ready, doctors? And the correct answer is A. To create glasses, no to
Ladies and gentlemen, you have been a remarkably well-behaved group so far. Thank you. This is our third and final round. It's the home stretch. And I know that uh, human nature kind of dictates that when all this is over, we tend to scatter rather quickly. And I just want to say, what you're looking at is the future. And I couldn't be more pleased, and I hope you are as well, with the talent we've got here in Ventura County. And we will also have an opportunity this coming Monday evening in the Performing Arts Center here at Pacifica to honor these students by way of our awards ceremony. And you know who won it all. And all the individual categories. So we'd invite you to also show up for that. I believe that's at 6 p.m. Um, one other big bit of housekeeping. Evidently, uh, a student uh, or students have left behind a calculator and a phone. If it's an iPhone, I'm going to take it. But a uh, calculator and a phone. If we know which student owns the calculator, we don't know about the phone yet. Um, but uh, we think we can check it by GPS. Um, anyway, after the ceremony, if you think you've lost your phone, you want to see John. Ready? Final round. Honor students are in their places. Proctors, please distribute, if you haven't already, the answer sheets, the scan dry answer sheets, and the round three questions. Again, I will repeat, do not look at the first question yet to count these. You, of course, will begin with the number one on your Scantron answer sheet. And please bubble in completely the lettered space, either A, B, C, D, or E, corresponding to the answer which best completes or answers the query. Are we ready? Are you ready? Right. Here we go. Question number one. One of the major difficulties in unifying the people of South Asia in the absence of British rule was the A, lack of indigenous national leaders, B, still strong pro-British sentiment, C, existence of geographic barriers, D, diversity of religious beliefs, or E, influence of communist ideology. Pencils up. And 
And the answer is C. More <laughs> than <laughs> response is B.
And the answer is E. Has been present and assisted.
Number nine. In the 15th century, Spain and Portugal had all of the following advantages in terms of leading the way for European exploration of a sea route to Asia, except A, no serious rivals or competitors, B, capital to finance overseas ventures, C, active merchant communities, D, skilled seamen with navigational skills, and E, extensive seaboards with good ports.
gentlemen, let's hear some whistling, foot stomping, and applause.